Hello every pony and welcome to Let's Play Project 1 Part 3. So this is kind of an annoying little step back, but it appears that I if I don't level up some, I'm going to have a much higher chance to just outright die because the demon god queen can just stack uh, nuclear and status effects making it so I can't heal. Unlucky bitch. So, um, I'm not okay with this, and I plan to go level up and kill her. I, I, I plan to become, like, level 15 or 16 and just, just maybe 17. Go and be like, oh, really? You want to be like that? I think you shouldn't want to be like that. It's not a very good idea around me. It's a terrible idea, and I'm going to show you why it's a terrible idea. Pod party party, I wanna have a party. I need to get like some background. I need a montage. Oh man, okay, so leveling up didn't take that long. But I need to get in some montage stuff so I'm not just sitting here randomly singing or some whatever. Because this song is basically what I want for my running around grinding through puppets. It's party, 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 you want to have a party. Because Andrew WK is the king of parties. Um, anyone who knows who Andrew WK is probably knows this. And by the way, Andrew WK is the one who does that song. Uh, the party one. Party, 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 you want to have party. Oh man, another girl scream. Oh god, it's terrible. Right now, I don't care, because I'm just like, I'm gonna beat that demon queen. I, I don't care what this game says. I Last time, I wasn't stubborn, and this time, I'm just like, I don't usually stubborn, but I want to be stubborn. I want to see what the game does when I beat her. It probably just gives me a lot of money and a lot of experience and maybe an item, but I want to see... I wanna, I want it to be a thing that happens. And it shall be. Hmm. I feel like there should be something in this room. Though I've seen a few of those in RPGs where I just, I look at a room and I'm like, hmm. I'm like, hmm, there should be something in this room. And sometimes there is and sometimes it just isn't. So that's fine. Now die, puppet, die. Hmm. Okay, let's go around to the other area. I'll have a little more room to run around and gallivant about and go kill more stuff. Because I'm a terribly violent person. Terribly violent. Terribly so. I'm not sure if Crimson's going to be happy or disappointed that I redid this part of the game. Because he's, he's probably going to be like, I already saw that part and I know about it, maybe. I'm not sure. At the same time, I might be like, hey, cool, you found some more things that I didn't even know were there. And I'm like, yeah, I feel accomplished. If, if he didn't know they were there. If he already knew about them, then I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I, I guess that's fine then. I pointed out some more changes that I'm like, hey, I think this would be cool if you did this, so... I feel accomplished. I also appreciate some of the rescaling, because I think he did do a good bit of rescaling. On the monsters. Because now I think I can actually beat the Demon Queen! Oh man, 666 damage. That was amazing. I probably should have screen capped it. <sighs> yeah, I wonder, I, I kind of want to say it'll probably just take another level, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to go for two levels. Um, I probably don't actually have to, she's just out of my reach, um, but yeah. And she's not really that out of my reach, it's just that right now, if she gets lucky, she can kill me. 
which is really screwing me over because she keeps uh well i'm not even sure it's luck it just feels like it is because sometimes because her attack patterns vary oh and of course her hit rate if she doesn't you if she doesn't hit me with a confusion i'm good to go okay That was level 14, yes. Enterprise! Uh uh. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. Oh. And I got more full potions. Um. Also, yeah, as Pear stated, he's not a big JRPG person, so he isn't here. Even though this isn't technically a JRPG, because an American... Oh, fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Because an American guy made it, but whatever. Can't say it's not American RPGs, because it's not. The fuck? Why am I doing that? This is taking away EXP. I need to not do that. I don't even know why I'm doing it. I'm just I I just keep trying to go down to get to power attack and then I'm running I'm like but I don't even think I can power attack. You. Uh anyways, more full potions and more XP. Anyways, so yeah, he's not the biggest turn based RPG fan. And I'm like, I guess I can understand. Uh, but I kind of like this element of JRPGs, as weird as that sounds. I, well, because in a normal game, it would just be skill, or worse, it would just be a matter of I have to keep going until I'm lucky, or I have to just give up and accept that I can't be the boss. In a JRPG, unless it's a really, literally unbeatable boss, I can just sit here and level up until I can beat it. That's why the few JRPGs that feel the need to, um, just putting on a bit of, yeah, sorry. Putting on a bit of chapstick, that sounds weird. But my lips felt really dry, I'm like, gosh, I think I need a, I think I need a drink of water after this part. Um, anyway, so yeah, huh. <laughs> I can go around, and this is true for any RPG, but I can go around and I can power up my character and then refight a boss that I previously couldn't beat, or, you know, whatever. So sure, grinding might not be everyone's favorite thing to do, but making my character stronger is something I always like doing. Because being the hero is fun. And being a badass hero is really fun. <laughs> being a hero can, can go up and beat the crap out of the demon god queen and just be like, Psh, I can save the world better than four heroes combined. Um, then yeah, I feel pretty good. <laughs> I can save the world better than four heroes combined. Uh, I'm sorry for heroes of legend or destiny or whatever. I am the true hero of this story. It is my story, and I'm sorry that you were not a bigger part in it. In B4, I'm actually one of the gr four legendary heroes. Though, even then, I'm only one of the four legendary heroes, and I'm ridiculous at times. I'm gonna heal after this battle, yeah. These puppets don't do a ton of damage, so I'm not too worried that I'm gonna die to them. At this point, I'm just grinding EXP. And getting more full potions. I don't really need... Fuck, I have that many full potions? I don't really need that. And then I looked up like, yeah, I don't really need that. Uh... People see that screenshot and they're gonna, if they haven't watched this, they're gonna think the person had like a dev version of the game or something. That like, 
you know, an easy version where I can go in and just see the environment. So I'm like, no, I legit ran, ran around and got to 50 of those things. So I was probably going to nerf that because that is a fuck ton of healing potions. Still, though, uh, I feel really good about that. Oh, man, another 666 damage. Uh, let's see. Another puppet. Die. Well, potion was found. Okay, let's see. Where am I on EXP? Oh, wow. I was like, I think I'm getting close. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting close. Man, if I beat this demon god, god queen, it should make next area so easy in comparison. I mean, I'm not sure if that's true, but considering she's an optional kill, yeah. Alright, level 15, Berserker's Roar was learned. Oh, that sounds cool. What's it do? For five turns, increases the attack of party. Okay. Um, 25. I don't know if it's worth it. Critical hit. Oh yeah, I should probably try my cleave at- well, no, my attack has increased that much, though. I was gonna say I should try my cleave out and see if I can go around one shot- oh, I can- yeah, I can grind for at least another, uh, battle. If I get two groups every battle, which I won't, it would only take me ten battles. Um, it'll take me a few more than that, so I know you guys are gonna do a little bit just watching me grind, and I'm not sure that's very fun. Um... I could rant about things, which I kinda am. Oh yeah, um, I kinda want to. Uh, I, I might. I'll probably get back to JRPGs. Well, I could talk about JRPGs, um, or turn-based RPGs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, most turn-based RPGs are JRPGs, but this isn't always true, as is obvious with this. Um, in fact, there's a good bit of dungeon crawly games based on, like, D&D &D and stuff that are American turn-based RPGs. Now that I think about it, a lot of the earlier D&D &D games were turn-based. So, yeah. So, to pair is silly completely. Um, but thinking of JRPGs, recently I got, um, Legestia. It's, I don't think that's how you actually pronounce it, but that's how I say it for the PS3, and it is, well, it's cool. I always love stuff from the NIS peoples, and the peoples who make Disgaea, and y'all know I'm Disgaea fan, and, uh, yeah. It's the dungeon crawler, um, among the... I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I want to say, think of a, uh... Think of a real... Time to Kobo's dungeon, and that's about that about hits it on the head. Um, and Chikobo's dungeon is obviously a lot like a roguelike, which yeah. So it, it it's like that. Um, it's like a real time version. It's you know a um hack and slashy type. Well, not exactly hack and slashy. It does take depending on how much you want to level. It take it does have a skill for sure to it. Obviously, if you want to grind the hell out of the game, um, and you proceed to do so, sure, feel free to go around, and you just, just gonna go around you stabbing monsters a couple of times until they die. Um, and then sure, it's not gonna be very skill-based. But, you know, you can do that with a lot of RPGs. I could do that technically with this RPG, uh, I think. Though, I don't seem to be getting as much... I'm, I'm not sure how much I earned per level, unfortunately, on my stats. Um, but I know I earn stats per level, so obviously. Um, oh yeah, I have a thing where I could probably check that. Though I definitely know for sure I'm at least earning more health points. So that is a definite boost, which I, is one of those, hey, I needed that, so it's a good thing that I can definitely tell it's going up, because, uh, well, yeah. Um, and, yeah. 
Legist is also good with that. Um, it, and it's one of those games that you look at your stats and you know your person's getting stronger with every level. You you can definitely tell. Um, it's it's not quite under the normal ridiculousness of theirs, but it's certainly a brand of their ridiculousness, which is always fun. Um. It, it is definitely one of those games where it's probably pretty, it, um, if you want it to be, it can be a pretty hardcore, alright, level 16. <laughs> exactly, it can be a pretty hardcore level 16, no, um, it can be a pretty hardcore dungeon exploring experience. I kind of want to gain another level. I know this whole part's pretty much educated to mod grinding, but hell. I have a tendency to do this. I have a tendency to lose and then say, okay, I lost by a good bit, by a noticeable okay, like this. Like, I didn't lose because I ran out of healing potions. I didn't lose because I barely lost due to lack of supplies. I lost because she out-status affected me. She did her nuclear strike and then she confusions and then other stuff. The first time I lost it was because I got too cocky. Battle lasted forever, got too cocky, died. It, was, it sucked. I was like, I should have healed, but I didn't, and I died, and it sucked. But then I tried again. Um, I, I tried a couple more times, and she just she balanced me around with the status effects. And I'm just like, okay. And she balanced me around with status effects and nuclear. And I'm like, well, I'm going to fix that. I'm just gonna go in, my plan is just go in there and overpower the hell out of her. Which is usually, like I said, pretty much what I do. I'm like, hey, I lost to a boss. You know what this calls for? This calls for war. This calls for me leveling the hell out of my character and the boss just being like, oh, wow, you were, you, I, th I thought you'd just be a tiny of baby hero. And I'm like, no, fuck that. I, I want to be the hero of legend that I clearly am, even though I don't know this if this character's hero of legend or not. Both theories could work at the moment. The fact that she is a, one of the four heroes of legend, or the fact that she is just an unrelated hero picking up the slack where those heroes of legend uh, failed. Yeah. Or I could just be dreaming. Or I could be dead. Um, I, I'm not really sure at this point. I was given kind of a spoiler, but then I think the guy making the game changed the story. Which is fine, because I'm like, hey, I... I, I like, I'd like some little, you know, tweaks to the... Because obviously, in this world, uh, I'm dead. But then I just wake up after this, so I don't know if this is a dream, uh, that I'm ha- Then again, I keep my experience. I don't keep my items, I don't think. But I keep my experience points. So, um... Don't really know that I can say that, hey, this was just a dream. I don't know what to say about this. Maybe the other world's basically just a dream. Then again, maybe I'm going to discover something different once I beat the Demon God Queen, but I don't think I will. I bet the consequences for winning and losing to the other boss are, you know, pretty much the same. Yeah. Same shtick. You get to the same place whether or not you beat them. You, but you get a lot more stuff if you beat them. And I'm just like, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the extra effort. Because I, I'm kind of looking forward to getting to the next air and just gliding through it. I don't know if I will, but I kind of like when I can do that. When I can overlevel and just get to an air and glide through it. Um, you know. Ad admittedly, it makes the game kind of easy at points, but I'm that kind of gamer who I... If I work hard, I'm not sure if you count this as working hard. If I work hard, I like to be, um, rewarded. Yeah. Usually, I don't even work this hard, but usually I don't have people to rant to while I'm doing this. Usually, I just be like, eh, I think I'm high enough level. Now I'm like, I have an audience. I have to make sure. I have to be sure that I can best the demon bitch. God, 
bitch. Queen bitch. Whatever. Fuck, I can't think. I don't even know. She's a demon god, queen bitch. She's a bitch, demon god. She's a, I, don't, I don't know. She's somewhere there needs to be a bitch, but I'm not sure where. Hmm. And slash. Critical hit. Love those things. Full potions were obtained. Status. Okay, one more battle to leveling. Battle activated. Oh yeah, uh, don't think I can clear, kill you both, but I will clear, yeah. Okay, this proves my official thoughts. Cleave is underpowered. I'm, well, no, I could be wrong. I'll have to see if I ever get a battle with more... Nice, screen penis, now level 17. If I ever get a battle with more than uh, a couple... Of, oh, fuck. <laughs> a screenshot of that. Oh, uh, man, I got 899 of those things. <laughs> People are probably getting tired of watching this. Okay, well, this is a bit late to say it, but if you get tired of watching this video, feel free to use a fast-forward button. Um, a bit... Man, I almost even want to level up one more time. Oh, man, I need to use Cleave. Almost want to level up one more time. Just one more time. Because leveling up in this game is not that hard. It's not near as hard as I'm used to. And I could I could seriously do it. One, mm, one more. One more. Well, okay. I already saved. I saved down here. I'm going to save up there. And I'm going to see if I can beat her. Because I think... I think I've been leveling a good bit. Dying. Thank you. So I feel um pretty ready. But if I die, obviously I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna keep on going. I I am I don't know why I'm refusing to lose this. I'm just saying, hey, I'm sorry, I can't lose to you. I don't, I, I don't feel like it. I'm probably going to upload this, no, not this specific part. Hey, the one you seek is beyond those stairs, guy. That should be your name. It would be a huge ass name, but that should just be your name. The one you seek is beyond those stairs. That's, that's your title. That's the only thing you actually know in the whole, th I bet that's true. I bet everything else you said is a lie. Okay, let's see what else do you say. Who am I? Only you can tell yourself who you were. <laughs> I was totally right, I think. Why am I here? Apparently you survived the great time. Besides the fact that everyone died, that is the only thing he tells me, is that the one you seek is beyond those stairs. I was right. I was so right. This god doesn't know anything besides that. Uh, okay. Let me check my status real quick and, uh, possibly... Okay, so cool. So my stats definitely increased. And you emerged and attack. Wow. My health is a good bit higher than it was last time I encountered you. I feel confident. Oh, blind. That's never fun. Why you gotta use blind? Ow, that was kind of painful. Oh my gosh, you use a nuclear. I don't really like it. So you know what? I'm going to use one of my 99 health potions. Fuck yeah, 99 full potions, uh, to be more specific, and Berserk's Roar! Berserker's Roar, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm using nuclear again, and my attack increased, and I'm gonna use strong attack now. Oh, but it wasn't very effective, and now I'm beating you with my strong attack. Ow, you bitch. Why do you gotta keep using nuclear just because I'm using cool stuff? Does it mean you got- No! Oh, come on! 
That's what happened last time. Nuclear twice in a row. I feel like your attack pattern needs to be changed. I guess this is it for this part. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. And we shall, and I shall see you next time, hopefully. Uh, yes, take care.